Hi guys, Jessica here from Jaywalker. I'm really excited to share with you a few tips and tricks on how you can get started jaywalking right inside your home environment or your immediate outside of your home environment. If you live in an apartment building, this may be the hallways or the foyer. If you live in suburbs, you may be using your backyard or your driveway for a while, but everybody can do this guys. Everybody can do this. You just need to baby step it. So here are a few things to get you started. All activities should be practiced in a controlled environment. For instance, activities such as waiting for an elevator, if you live in an apartment and this is part of your daily routine. Break the steps down into individual baby steps, then practice each one of those. Here you can observe Bruiser learning how to respond to the elevator door opening. That's the first step of riding the elevator. Stop and step, legs together, reward. This activity is done best along a wall so we can use it to block. Stop, step out, legs together, reward. Back up, scoop, reward. This redirects the dog back into position when they've gone ahead too far. Back up, scoop them in, reward. In this activity, you wanna make sure that you're rewarding the dog at the position where you want their head to be when you're walking. You can use your hand to lure the dog behind your body and when you move forward, reward the dog at the side. Pace changes are an excellent way to keep the dog focused and engaged when you're moving through space. Change between fast, slow and stop. Sitting and giving eye contact is an excellent way to maintain focus and to see if your dog is engaged with you. Use verbal praise to maintain the behavior between giving treats. Watch for indications of calm. You don't want to reward tension or stress. Collecting the dog means walking in a circle towards them 360 degrees, meaning you end up where you started. This provides an opportunity for you to do a perimeter check, keeping the dog in line with you, traveling in a circle, having them pay attention to your legs. Whenever you want to change directions, you wanna make sure you're turning towards your dog. It's excellent practice to do this along a wall. Turn towards your dog. Your dog has to shuffle out of the way and take that position beside you again. Turning towards your dog slows them down. Turning away from them speeds them up. Okay guys, let's recap. Stop and step. Back up and scoop. Pace changes. Sit with eye contact, collecting the dog, changing directions, and making sure you're practicing in a controlled environment. Start at a low level, move forward from there. You've got this.